Let's talk about one of my favorite family-friendly sitcoms of the 60s, Family Affair. Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to you as the Big D, with another TV log. This time I bring to you Family Affair, the original that is, because there were two different versions. Family Affair is an American sitcom that originally premiered on CBS in September of 1966 and ran until 1971. The show was created by Edmund Hartman and Don Federson, who, who was also executive producer and was also the same guy who brought us My Three Sons. Anyway, the series explored the trials of well-to-do engineer and bachelor Bill Davis as he attempted to raise his brother's orphaned children in his luxury New York City apartment. Anyway, along with the, his traditional English gentleman's gentleman of a, of a butler, Mr. Giles French also had adjustments to make as he became saddled with the responsibility of caring for these three kids. Uh, those were, well, first off was a five, well, five-year-old Buffy, then her twin brother, Jody, and then their 15-year-old, the sister, Sissy. Anyway, show ran for five seasons, and after 130, and 138 episodes were produced. The show's theme music was performed was done by Frank Duvall, who would later go on to do the music for the Brady Bunch. As, of course, in 1969, as the show was in its next-to-last season. Anyway. Now, of course, our the central character is... Bill Davis, he's a successful civil engineer who develops major projects all over the world. A wealthy bachelor, Bill lives in a large apartment in Manhattan's Upper East Side. And has a British manservant, Giles French, often referred to as Mr. French or just French as his valet. Anyway, now, according to my source, a year prior to the series, Bill's brother, Bob, and his wife, Mary, were killed in a car crash in Indiana, that's where Bill's actually from, leaving their three children, teenager Sissy and younger twins Jody and Buffy, orphaned, leaving them split up among family members, unwilling and, and or unable to care for them in one household. Bill's other relatives believe that he is the one most capable of supporting them, and so the three are sent to live with him in New York. Consequently, Bill's solitary lifestyle gets turned upside down. Well, he gets one at a time, though. He starts with Buffy at first, and then later gets Jody, and then, well, later on, then since Sissy followed. Initially, as the kids now call him, Uncle Bill, well, he is none too anxious to have the three youngsters living with him, but he soon grows fond of them. Mr. French, who effectively becomes a nanny <laughs> in addition to his valet duties, is also flustered by the erratic situation at first, but he too develops an affinity for them. Over time, the bachelor, the butler, and the three orphans find themselves becoming a close-knit family. Now... Later on, I if I'm not mistaken, give me a second if I can find some information here. Okay, later at close to the end of the first season, well, I'll, well, 
Sorry, this is taking me a bit. Um, Mr. French's brother, Nigel Niles French, was introduced and he took over as the person who played Mr. French was ill at the time. I'll explain, I'll tell you who that is when we get to it, okay? Now, he worked for the Davises for nine episodes close to the end of the first season. While the character of Giles was said to be touring with the Queen in the Commonwealth countries. That's what they explain. Anyway, in the final season, Bill hired a part-time housekeeper named Emily Turner to assist Mr. French. And there were various other characters seen regularly, including several acquaintances of Mr. French's who are in service, most notably Miss Faversham, who, of course, um, is a real nice character, and colleagues of Bill's and friends of Sissy's as well. Well, let me see. Now, I really do like how the how the show's theme song goes. It well done by Mr. Duvall. The only feature credits appearing over a kaleidoscopic view of a multicolored array of gems and precious stones, suggesting family jewels, that is. Which I really did like that. Now, most of the episodes of the fifth and final season open with either Mr. French or the twins welcoming everyone and closing the episode, saying, it's been very good of you to watch, and we do hope to see you next week on Family Affair. Well, see you again next week, that is. <laughs> Excuse me. Now then. Apparently, I will tell you this, there's never been much of a reunion, because we've lost some of these people so early, but let me just go ahead and get to talk about our characters. Playing Uncle Bill is Brian Keith, who a few years before this was in the original Parent Trap with, well, Haley Mills and Maureen O'Hara. Playing Mr. French is Sebastian Cabot, who, this was just before he got to become a well-known voice actor at Disney, voicing Bagheera in The Jungle Book, as well as being the narrator for the original Winnie the Pooh shorts, I do believe, well, as well as the many, which were blending into the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh movie. But I think he did lots of other things. Okay, next playing Sissy is Kathy Garber, who is one of the only survivors of the series. Now, Garber would go on to do some more acting and also do some voice acting, I, I seem to recall. Well, I know one of her voice acting was voicing Firestar on Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Next is Johnny Wicker playing Jody. Now... Whitaker's the only other surviving cast member of the series. He's as after this he would go on to play, well, one of the characters of the original version of Sam Minecraft Sigma and the Sea Monsters. He'd also appear in the recent remake of the series, which didn't last that long, unfortunately. And playing Buffy is young Anissa Jones, who unfortunately died so way too soon. Died so young. Now, here's our other supporting members. Playing Miss Faversham is Heather Angel. Playing Mr. French's brother Niles is John Williams, not to be confused with the legendary composer. And playing Miss Turner is Nancy Walker. Now, there'll be lots of other special guest stars. Another one I've seen who appeared in a few episodes is... The character of Sharon James, that's one of Sissy's best friends, and she's voiced by Sherry Alberoni, who would later go on to voice, well, Mino Alexandra Cabot in Hanna Barbera's Josie and the Pussycats cartoon, as well as voice Wendy in the original Super Friends. But there was lots of other, well, special guests, including Jackie Coogan, Henry Corden, Jamie Farr, let's see, Linda K. Henning. Sterling Holloway, who of course would also be a part of the Jungle Book, 
with Mr. Cabot. He, of course, he voiced Ka. Let's see. Who else? Let's see, June Lockhart. Most of y'all know her from Lassie. Key Luke. Let's see, Lee Merriweather was in there. Butch Patrick, who, of course, um, this was after he played Eddie Munster. And Eve Plum, who, of course, would later go on to play Jan Brady. Oh, yes. And another Brady Bunch star, Robert Reed. Uh, who, of course, that, of course, was Mr. Brady. And Vic Tabak as well. But anyway, that's plus many others. The list goes on. Anyway, I don't seem to recall seeing the reruns in my youth. I did get to see reruns of this when I was in my teens in my view, when I got satellite, and I encountered the show for the first time on TV Land. That's when I started watching the show, and I got to liking it. Unfortunately, after that, it left, and I never did see it again. When we had me TV for a short time, I tried to catch this a few times and failed. But I guess I never could get a chance to, and I wanted it on DVD, but the prices weren't really good. However, a few years later, I managed to catch the show on Amazon Prime. I think Amazon Prime is one spot where you can find all the episodes. I've seen all five seasons, all 138 big episodes on there. The series is also available for streaming on Tubi, if you'd like to check out. Now, of course, there would be a remake TV series that aired on the WB Network in 2002, but unfortunately, I didn't see that because we didn't have the WB. Anyway, where in that version, Uncle Bill was played by Gary Cole, who actually played Mr. Brady in the Brady Bunch movie in a very Brady sequel, while Mr. French was played by Tim Curry. Of course, you know him from the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, plus a lot of others. Anyway, MPI Home Video has released all four five seasons separately, and a complete series set, as well as a best of set. Now, some you can probably find for a reasonable price. I think the best of set would be your best choice, but good luck finding the complete series. Anyway, this was really good, what have you, but now, back to, um, about the deaths and what have you, because... Anyway, according to Ka according to Kathy Garver on the final season's DVD features, the show's cast suffered several deaths, most of which came prematurely. Now, Anissa Jones, who played Buffy, died way too young. She died of a drug overdose of sleeping pills in 1976. She was only 18. Poor girl. Sebastian Cabot, who played Mr. French, died of a stroke in 1977. He was only 59. And Brian Keith, he committed suicide by gunshot in 1997. He was 75. Two months after the suicide of his own daughter and himself, after he had been living with cancer for some time. <sighs> Horrible ways to die, don't you think, folks? But Family Affair will always live within... With all of us, if if you've seen the show, that is. <laughs> like I said, I've seen all of Family Affair. I loved the atmosphere. I love all the characters. They're just really good. They're very likable characters. They're a real good group once you get to know them When if you check out this series. So I would highly recommend you watch Family Affair. Again, the series, I believe it's still on Prime. But if you will hold on for a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I checked. It was on Prime, but you can still see it, but it's through IMDb TV, as a matter of fact. So, if that's all, that's the only way I know of, so you'd have to see it with ads, just like you would if you watched it on Tubi. So, well, at least you know. Uh, but anyway, it's like I said, Family Affairs is one of my favorite 60s sitcoms. Aside from Bewitched or I Dream of Genie, I really do love it. It's a great show. So, if you've seen Family Affair, what did you think of it? And who's your favorite character? Just tell me what you thought about in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button below. Subscribe to my channel as well. And be a part of the Big D Nation. 
Join me next time when I bring to you a review of Madeline. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, excuse me, check out my, check out some of these TV logs of some other great shows. In the upper left-hand corner is my TV log for the Brave Bunch, my, then or see the TV log of Mr. Belvedere that I did earlier this year in the upper right-hand corner. Or go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my TV log of I Dream a Genie that I recently did. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Uh, looks like I'm not 250 again. I think YouTube's trying to play tricks on me or something like that. Please, I want to get that 250 back. So please... Be support to my channel. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.